Hey everybody, Jeremy Ritz here. Courage pays better than fear trading. Here with a Courage Mini. And today we're gonna do a little tutorial with TradingView. I had a lot of requests just to go over some of the general features of TradingView. So this is gonna be a multi-part series. And today we're just gonna look at some of the basics in terms of adding tickers to TradingView, how you can organize them, how you can delete tickers, how you can create subsections. And so hopefully you find this helpful and let's jump right. So let me share my screen, share. And so here we go. Here is trading view. And I have a nice, neat, clean chart pulled up here today. It is quad witching day. Um, all the uh, options, contracts, futures contracts are expiring. And we're seeing uh, some selling coming in. We had a, a decent little push there. But let's get to why we're here. We want to talk about the watch list. So here in the right hand corner of the screen, we could see, hey, here is the, the watch list, right? And the way that you add tickers to your watch list is it's pretty simple here. There's a plus button. If you click on that, you can type in any ticker name. Uh, and let's say we want to look up Starbucks. You just start typing Starbucks. And then what you're going to see is that stock get populated on this list. So you can click plus. It will add it. Here it is. And so whenever you click on that ticker, it's going to pull it up right here on your chart. All right, so that's just a simple way to add it, that plus button. And then another thing is, all right, I don't wanna follow this ticker anymore. How do I get rid of it? If you hover over the right-hand side of the ticker and you see this X and you click it, bam, it'll get rid of it completely. So that's just a simple way of how to add a ticker to your chart, how to delete it right there. You got the plus, you got the X. Now, you could see how I have different uh, headings for different things, swing trades, long-term investments, the meme stock. So I was following the, the Roaring Kitty experiment uh, and then the tickers that I day trade and then the indices, which are the broader markets. The way that you're going to create um, subcategories for your watch list is if you look at this, these three dots here where it says settings. When you click on that, it will say add section. So all you have to do is click add section and what it's going to do is it created a new section down here for me, right? So now if I want to rename this, I just click on it and I could call it whatever I want. So let's say that we're going to call this um, practice tickers, practice tickers, meaning I'm going to pull up some stocks that I haven't traded before and I'm going to put it under this, this subheading. And so I know, hey, I'm looking to just learn some new stocks these are the ones I want to focus on. I go in there and I, I look at them. So how do you add to uh, those, those subheadings? So very simple. Let's click plus. And let me think of a company. Let's look at Chipotle, Chipotle, C-I-H. So the uh, ticker symbol for that is CMG. So we click on it and then there we go. It's going to be populated right under where it says price practice ticker. So I could click on that. And then I could do any practicing back trading that I want to do, right? Now, if you wanted to drag um, or move a, a ticker from another heading down to your practice tickers, it's very simple how to do that. Just grab it right here. So I'm clicking on Bitcoin and I just pull it down, let go, and it drops it right there under practice tickers, okay? So just some simple things that you can do um, with, with your watch list. You can organize these two. Uh, oftentimes what I'll do is whatever stocks that I'm going to trade for a particular day, I'll move them up, I'll uh, move them down, organize them based on how I'm gonna watch that. And you're able to do that as well. So uh, again, just some basics here, how to organize your watch list. Hopefully that was helpful for you. In part two of the trading view tips, I'll get into trend lines, how to add text to this. Um, so you can mark up any practice trades you're doing or any forecasting that you, you're doing. And then in part three, we'll actually get into the forecasting tools. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit, showed you some basics that you didn't know about that watch list, how to modify that, how to uh, adjust it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you back here for another Courage Pays Better Than Fear Mini. Have a tremendous day, everyone.